The book of Eob, Job, chapter 1. There was a man in the land of Uts, whose name was Eob. And that man was perfect and straight, and one who feared Elohim and turned aside from evil. And seven sons and three daughters were born to him. His, and his possessions were seven thousand sheep, and three thousand camels, and five hundred yoke of oxen, and five hundred female donkeys, and a very large body of servants, so that this man was the greatest of all the people of the east. And his son went and had a feast in the house of each day on his day and sent and invited their three sisters to eat and to drink with them. And it came to be, when the days of the fasting had gone round, that Eob would send and set them apart, and he would rise early in the morning and offer ascending offerings, the number of them all. For Eob said, it might be that my sons have sinned and cursed Elohim in their hearts. This Eob always did. And the day came to be that the sons of Elohim came to present themselves before Yahweh. And Satan also came among them. And Yahweh said to Satan, From where do you come? And Satan answered, Yahweh, and said, From diligently searching in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. And Yahweh said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Eob, that there is none like him on the earth, a perfect and straight man, one who fears Elohim and turns aside from evil? And Satan answered Yahweh, and said, Is Job fearing Elohim for naught? Have you not made a hedge around him, and around his household, and around all that he has on every side? You have blessed the work of his hands, and his possessions have increased in the land. But stretch out your hand, please, and strike all that he has, if he would not curse you to your face. And Yahweh said to Satan, See, all that he has is in your hand, only do not lay a hand on himself. And Satan went out from the presence of Yahweh. And the day came to be when the sons and daughters were eating and drinking wine in the house of their brother, the firstborn, and a messenger came to Eob and said, The oxen were plowing and the donkeys feeding along them. When Sheba fell along them and took them away, and they struck the servant with the edge of the sword, and I alone have escaped to inform you. While he was still speaking, another also came and said, the fire of Elohim fell from the heaven and burned up the sheep and the servants and consumed them, and I alone have escaped to inform you. While he was still speaking, another also came to him and said, The Kastim formed three bands and made a raid on the camels and took them away. And then they struck the servants with the edge of the sword, and I alone have escaped to inform you. While he was still speaking, another also came and said, Your sons and your daughters were eating and drinking wine in the house of their brother, the firstborn. And see, a great wind came from the wilderness and struck the four corners of the house and it fell on the young men, and they are all dead. I alone have escaped to inform you. Then Eob rose up and tore his robe, and shaved his head, and he fell to the ground and did obscience. And he said, 
Naked I came from thy mother's womb, and naked I return there. Yahweh has given, and Yahweh has taken it away. Blessed is the name of Yahweh. In all this, Job did not sin or ascribe wrongdoing unto Elohim. Job chapter 2. Again, the day came to be that the sons of Elohim came to present themselves before Yahweh, and Satan also came along with them to present himself before Yahweh. And Yahweh said to Satan, From where do you come? And Satan answered Yahweh and said, From diligently searching in the earth and from walking up and down it. And Yahweh said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job, that there is none like him on the earth, a perfect and straight man, one who fears Elohim and turns aside from evil? And still he holds fast to his integrity, although you incited me against him to destroy him without cause. And Satan answered him and said, Skin for skin, and all that a man has he would give for his life. But stretch out your hand, please, and strike his bones and his flesh, if he would not curse you to your face. And Yahweh said to Satan, See, he is in your hand, only spare his life. And Satan went out from the presence of Yahweh and struck Job with loathsome sores from the sole of his foot to the crown of his head. And he took a potsherd with which to scrape himself while he sat in the midst of the ashes. And his wife said to him, Do you still hold fast to your integrity? Curse Elohim and die. But he said to her, You speak as one of the foolish women speak. Indeed, should we only accept good from Elohim, and not accept evil? In all this Job did not sin with his lips. And three of the friends of Job heard all of this evil that had come upon him, and each one came from his own place, Eliphaz, the Temanite, and Bildad, the Shuhite, and so far, the Namanite. And they met together to come to sympathize with him and comfort him. And they lifted up their eyes from a distance and did not recognize him. And they lifted their voices and wept. And each one tore his robe and sprinkled dust on his head toward the heaven. Then they sat down with him on the ground seven days and seven nights, and no one spoke a word to him, for they saw that the pain was so very great. Eob chapter 3 After this Eob opened his mouth and cursed the day of his birth. And Eob spoke and said, Let the day perish on which I was born, and the night it was said. A male child has been conceived. Let that day be darkness. Let not Eloah from above seek for it, nor let light shine upon it. Let darkness and the shadow of the death buy it back. Let a cloud dwell on it. Let all that blackens the day frighten it. That night let darkness seize it. Let not be included among the days of the year. Let it not come to into the number of the months. Look, let the night be silent. Let no singing come onto it. Let those curse it who curse the day, and are ready to stir up the Leviathan. Let the stars of its twilight be dark, let it wait for light, but have none. And let it not see the eyelashes of the dawn. 
for it did not shut up the doors of my mother's womb, nor hide troubles from my eyes. Why did I not die from the womb, come forth from the belly, and expire? Why were there knees to receive me, or breasts for me to suck? For now I would have been lying in peace. I would have slept, then I would have had rest, with sovereigns and counselors of the earth who built ruins for themselves, or with the rulers who had gold, who filled their houses with silver, or as a hidden, untimely birth as infant who never saw the light. There the wrong ceased raging, and there were weary at the rest. The prisoners rest together, they do not hear the voice of the oppressor. The small and the great are there, and the servant is free from the master. Why does he give light to the sufferer, and life to the bitter of being, who are waiting for death, but it does not come, and search for it more than treasures, who rejoice exceedingly, they are glad when they find the burial site. Why does he give light to a man whose way has been hidden, and when Eloah has hedged in? For my sighing comes before I eat, and my groanings pour out like water. For that which I greatly feared has come upon me, and that which I dreaded has overtaken me. I have not been at ease, nor have I been undisturbed, nor been at rest, yet trouble comes. Eob, chapter 4, And Eliphaz the Temanite answered and said, If one tries a word with you, would you become impatient? But who is able to withhold himself from speaking? See, you have instructed many and you have made weak hands strong. Your words have raised up who was stumbling, and you have strengthened the weak knees. But now it has come to you, and you are impatient. It strikes you, and you are troubled. Is it not your reverence, your trust, the integrity of the ways your expectancy? Remember, please, who, being innocent, has ever perished, and where have the straight ones ever been cut off? According to what I have seen, those who plow wickedness and sow sufferings reap the same. Though through the breath of Eloah they perish, and through the spirit of his nostrils, they are consumed, the roaring of the lion, and the voice of the fierce lion, but the teeth of the young lion shall be broken. The old lion perishes for lack of prey, and the cubs of the lioness are scattered. And unto me a word was secretly brought, and my ear received a little of it. Amid thoughts from visions of the night, when deep sleep falls on men, fear came upon me, and trembling, causing my bones to shake greatly. Then a spirit passed before my face. The hair on my body stood up. It stood still, but I could not discern its appearance. A form was before my eyes, silence. Then a voice I heard. Is mortal man more righteous than Eloah? Is man more clear, clean than his maker? Look, he puts no trust in his servants. He charges his messengers with strains. How much more those who dwell in the house of clay? whose foundation is in the dust, whose are crushed like a moth. From the morning till evening they are beaten down, and they perish forever with no one regarding.
are not the cords of their tents pulled up, they die without vision. Job chapter 5 Call out, please, is there anyone to answer you? And to which of the set-apart ones would you turn? For wrath kills the fool, and envy slays the simple. I myself have seen the fool taking root, but suddenly his home is cursed. His sons are far from safety. They are crushed in the gate with no one to deliver. The hungry eat up his harvest, taking it even from the thorns, and the snare snaps up their wealth. For evil does not come from the dust, nor does trouble spring up from the ground. For man is born for trouble, and the spark fly upward. But as for me, I would seek El, and I would submit my case to Elohim. Who is doing great and unsearchable deeds, innumerable wonders, who is giving rain on the earth's face and is sending waters on the field's face to set the lowly on the high and those who mourn shall be lifted to safety, thwarting the schemes of the crafty so that their hands do not work effectively, catching the wise in their own craftiness and the counsel of schemers are swept away. By day they encounter darkness, and at noon they grope as in the night. But he saves the needy from the sword of their mouth. From the clutches of the strong, thus the poor have expectancy, and unrighteousness shuts her mouth. Look, blessed is the man who Eloah does reprove, so do not despise the discipline of the Almighty. For he bruises, but he binds up. He smites, but his hand heals. In six distresses he delivers you, and in seven no evil strikes you. In scarcity of food he shall redeem you from death, and in battle from the power of the sword. When the tongue scourges you are shielded, and you have no fear when destruction comes. At destruction, at the, and at salvation you laugh, and you have no fear of the beasts of the earth. For your covenant is with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with you. And you shall know that your tent is in peace, and you shall visit your tent, and not sin, and shall know that your seed are many, and your offspring like the grass of the earth, and shall come to the burial site in ripe old age, like a stacking of grain in its season. Look, this, is, this we have searched out. It is so. Hear it, and know it for yourself. Eob chapter 6 And Eob answered and said, Oh, that my grief were thoroughly weighed, and my calamity be placed on the scales, for it would outweigh the sand of the sea. Therefore my words have been rash. For the arrows of the Almighty are within me, my spirit drinks in their poison. The onslaught of Eloah are arrayed against me. Does the wild donkey bray when it has grass, or does the wild the ox billow over its fodder? Is tasteless food eaten without salt? Is there any flavor in the juice of mallows? I refuse to touch it. They are like food when I am sick. Oh, that I might have my desire, that Eloah would grant me that what I long for, that it would please Eloah to crush me, 
loose his hand and cut me off, then I would still have comfort, and I would rejoice in pain. Though not spared, for I have not hidden the words of the set-apart one, that what strength do I have that I should wait, and that what is my end that I should prolong my life? Is my strength the strength of stones? Is my flesh of bronze? Is my help not within me, and is ability driven from me? To him who is afflicted, loving commitment, even the one leaving the fear of the Almighty. My brothers, are we undependable as a wadi, as a bed on which dreams once ran? which are dark because of the ice in which the snow has hidden? When it is warm, they cease to flow. When it is hot, they vanish from their place. The pass of their way turn aside. They enter wastes and perish. <clears throat> Passengers of Tema looked expectantly. Travelers of Sheba waited for them. They were ashamed because they had trusted. They came there and were disappointed. Indeed, you have now become the same. You see my downfall and are afraid. Did I ever say, give to me, or offer a bribe for me from your wealth? or rescue me from the hand of my enemy, or redeem me from the hand of the oppressors? Teach me, and I shall be silent, and show me where I have gone astray. Words of unright uprightness are harsh, but what does your reproving prove? Do you reckon to reprove my words, and the sayings of one in despair, which are as the wind? You would cast lots over the fatherless, and make merchandise of your friends, but now, please look at me, whether I would lie to your face. Relent, please let there be no unrighteousness. Relent. My righteousness is still in it. There is there unrighteousness on my tongue? Does my taste not discern what is perverse? Eob chapter 7 Does not a man have to struggle on the earth? For his days are like the days of a hired man, like a servant who sighs from the shade and like a hireling longing for his wages. So am I allotted months of futility, and nights of trouble have been appointed to me when I lie down, and when I say when I am going to rise, and the night be ended. For I have had my fill of tossing till dawn. My body is covered with worms, and dirt, and my skin is cracked, and it festers. My days are swifter than the weaver's shuttle, and are spent without expectancy. Remember that my life is a breath. My eye is never again to see good. The eye of him who sees me no longer. Your eyes are upon me, and I am no more. The cloud fades and vanishes away, so he who goes down to Sheol does not come up. He returns no more to his home, nor does his place know him any more. I also, I do not hold my mouth, I speak in the distress of my spirit, I complain in the bitterness of my being. Am I the sea, or a sea monster, that you set a guard over me? When I say, my bed does not comfort me, 
my couch does not ease my complaint. Then you frighten me with dreams and make me afraid with visions, so that my being choose, chooses strangling death rather than my bones. I have wasted away, I would not live forever. Leave me alone, for my days are a breath. What is man, what you should make him great, that you should set your heart on him, that you should visit him every morning, trying him every moment? How long do you not look away from me? nor leave me alone till I swallow my saliva. Have I sinned? What have I done to you, O watcher of men? Why have you set me as your target, so that I am a burden to you? And why do you not pardon my transgressions and take away my crookedness? For now I lie down in the dust, and you shall seek me, but I am not. Eob chapter 8 And Bildad the Shuhite answered him and said, How long are you going to speak like this, since the words of your mouth are a strong wind? Does El twist right rulings, or does the Almighty twist what is right? If your sons have sinned against him, and he delivers them into the hand of their transgressions. If you diligently seek El and plead with the Almighty, if you were clear and straight, then indeed he would awake for you, and shall bless your righteous dwelling place. Though your beginning is small, yet your latter end would greatly increase. Indeed, please ask the former generation, and prepare for the research of the fathers. For we are but of yesterday, and know not, because our days on earth are as the shadow. They do not teach you, speak to you, or bring forth words from your heart. Does papyrus grow without a marsh, and reed thrive without water, while it has yet green, not cut down, it dries out before any plant? So are the paths of all who forget El, and the expectancy of the defiled one does not or does perish. Whose refuge is cut off, and whose trust is a spider's web? He leans on his house, but it does not stand. He holds to it, but it does not last. He is moist before the sun, and his branches spread out in the garden. His roots wrap around a heap, and look for a place in the stones. If he is destroyed from his place, then it shall deny him, I have not seen you. See, this is the joy of his way, and out of the dust others grow. See, El does not cast away the perfect, neither hold the hand of evildoers, while he fills your mouth with laughter, and your lips with rejoicing. Those hating you put on shame, and the tent of the wrong is no more. Eob chapter 9 And Eob answered, and said, Truly I know it is so, but how is a man right with Elohim? If one wishes to dispute with him, he would not answer him one time out of a thousand. Wise in heart, and potent of power, who has hardened himself against him, and is at peace? Who 
He who removes mountains as they do not know it, when he overturns them in his displeasure, who shakes the earth out of its place and its columns tremble, who commands the sun and it does not rise, and he seals up the stars, stretching out the heavens by himself and treading upon the waves of the sea. Who made Ash, Kessel, Kima, and the rooms of the south? Who performs great and unsearchable deeds and innumerable wonders? Look, he goes by me, and I do not see him, and he moves past, but I do not discern him. Look, he snatches away. Who brings it? Who brings it back? Who says to him, "What are you doing?" Eloa does not turn back his displeasure. The helpers of pride stood under him. How much less would I answer him? Choose my words with him, for. Though I were righteous, I would not answer him. I pray to him for my right ruling. Though I call, had called and he answered me, I would not believe that he was listening to my voice. For he crushes me with a storm, and he has multiplied my wounds for no cause. He does not allow me to rescue my breath, but fills me with bitterness. If I speak power, look, he is potent. And if the right ruling, he sets me a time. If I am righteous, my mouth would declare me wrong. I am perfect, it would declare me perverse. Am I perfect? Do I not know my own being? I despise my life. It is all the same, therefore I say, He destroys the perfect and the wrong. If the scourge slays suddenly, He laughs at the trial of the innocent. Earth has been given into the hand of the wrong. He covers the face of its judges. If it is not he, then who is it? My days have become swifter than a runner. They have fled, and they have not seen good. They have passed by like swift ships, like an eagle swooping on its prey. If I say, let me forget my complaint, let me put off my sad face, and let me smile, I shall be afraid of all my sufferings. I know that you do not hold me innocent. If I am wrong, why should I labor in vain? If I wash myself with snow water and cleanse my hands with soap, then you would plunge me into a ditch, for my garments shall abhor me. For he is not a man that I am, that I answer him, and we come together into right ruling. There is no mediator between us to lay his hand upon us both. Let him take his rod away from me, and let his dread frighten me. Then I would speak and not fear him, for I am not so within myself.